Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming that I carry me home. Um, this is our guest who's been doing the Greyhound. I'm Rachel. <laughs> Hi. Want to come out and have a look at this one? Yeah. It was just an idea that came to me and it wouldn't go away. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's the bed then? It's a uh, Murphy bed. Okay. I'll put the tables away. Tom made all the window uh, hinges. Hinges. Oh. And um, he's into I've ruined ruined them. marks. Ruined markings. Yeah, this this one has a sink and stuff in it too. Yeah. Yeah, it's neat to see the evolution of the spheres. Yeah. How they're coming about. That's so true, right? Yeah. You put the whole sphere in. And one of the reasons it's the size it is, um, ten and a half feet, which is the largest the spheres are there, mm -hmm. um, you can get a permit to go in the car, like on the back of your truck, and you don't need any pilot cars or anything. You mm. just have to put red flags on it. But if it was 11 feet, you would have to have a pilot car. So everything's ten and a half. Right. gorgeous place I've ever been in my life. I wonder if they'd notice if I just never left. I'm small. I could build my own tree house with popsicle sticks and some underwear elastic. Except all of mine's already fallen out. I have to steal someone else's. <sighs> this is my childhood dream. Yesterday, when I had my camera off, I asked Tom why. Why he built these spheres. And he had always wanted people to be able to live in nature without harming it. To cohabitate with nature. And this was his, his design. And not only are spheres organic shaped, like bubbles, but they are sturdy as all get out. Today I hiked around here. It's a lot prettier than the map. They say qualicum means wind, and sometimes they have what's called the qualicum winds, which I think is pretty redundant, but wicked awesome. This is where I saw a massive, mossy, fallen tree with trees growing out of it. That was cool. Oh no, no, I was down here. Down here, I walked through the Government of Canada salmon fishery hatchery spawning place, farm, or the Government of Canada salmon enhancement program. Who needs a job? Who needs money? Who needs food? I can eat rocks. I live off the land. Nothing but a plastic dinosaur and a loincloth. I can do that. Why not? Let's <sighs> come for a carry me. sphere because I am a free spirit and a sphere and an Ewok. <laughs> 